Hello everyone, I am Nova and I'm unboxing a very special deck. So I thought I can share this beautiful moment with you guys. This deck arrived from the US and it took two and a half months to receive it. And I also paid so much for the shipping. It's crazy nowadays. I bought this deck for like 70 something dollars and then I paid 30 euros or 30 dollars for the shipment and 30 dollars for import tax so this deck basically cost me double the price and it is the serpent and peacock tarot the art version i am very excited let's see the packaging is very good and the people at the libra moon tarot it's called zodiac reports libra moon tarot they are so helpful i asked them a question because it was taking so long and they were following up on it the lady that was corresponding with me on the email her name is carol and i will link i will put the links in the description and carol if you're watching Thank you so much, darling. I really appreciate your follow-up and everything. Look how beautiful this box is. It says, We live by the sun, feel by the moon. Learn from the cards by the light of the Libra moon. And it is high quality. The box is very high quality. There is zero damages on the box because the packaging was very good. I am not sponsored by these people, by the way. I bought it with my own money. It says printed in Italy for Libra Moon INC. I wish we could buy it from Italy then, for people who are in Europe. Publishers signed and numbered edition 750 sets. Um, okay, so I have number 363 out of 750. It says Serpent and the Peacock art version because there is another version that is smaller than this with borders and everything and... That one is a lot cheaper. Nice. The card quality is good. And the gilding also. It's not that shiny gold. It's a matte gold. And it's not sharp. It looks like it's high quality. It has a very subtle shimmer in it. It's beautiful. The edging is really something. And these are the back of the cards. It has a chunky guidebook, which is always a bonus. Oh, here. Okay, you get for four of cups, you get this much. Art. Job on his dunghill infested with worms. Date 1360. I have to read this book, guys. If you want a proper walkthrough, Simon over at Hermit's Cave has one. So I'm not going to do a walkthrough here. He has done an awesome job with his walkthrough. I will link his video in my description. So there are keywords and there is a whole page of explanation. So you get for each card, you get basically two pages. The book is colored as you see. And I'm going to show you all the cards one by one. Starts with Ace of Wands. I love this medieval stuff. Oof, this is right up my alley. I really want to study this deck, like to see what is written here, because I can't really read it now. Wow, look here.
so interesting for the king of wands Oh, I love this. <laughs> this is four of coins. Beautiful. I am very happy, although I paid so much and I waited for so long. But I am happy at the end. It's beautiful. It's a little bit like Patrick Balanzo's work but more interesting in my opinion nothing against Patrick Valenzo's stuff but it's just become familiar you know his artwork has become very familiar after all these years this one is more medieval as well and I really like medieval artwork Page of Pentacles. Card quality is really good. It's matte and it's quiet, soft and buttery, but it's not sticky at all. <laughs> so nice. There is a crown around the swan's neck. There is a lot to pay attention to. This is Ten of Swords. Look at this guy. There is a face on his bum. <laughs> I love this stuff. What a serious queen. Of course, she's a queen of swords. So beautiful. Why is somebody laying down dead in the two of cups? <laughs> Some of the cards are very collage like this one. Some of them are a lot less collage, like this one. I actually think the print quality is not that great. Like some of the things in the cards are not that clear. You know, the lines and everything is not that sharp. I don't know if that's the print's fault or I don't know the technicals of the card making but oh, I love this one nine of cups
Or maybe it's done like this on purpose to make it more old looking and edgy looking. I don't know. But it's not sharp, you know, the, the lines are not clear. Look at this page of cups. <laughs> oh my god. It's insane. And now we have the majors, the fool, <laughs> the magician. This is, I think, the first picture, the first image that I saw from this deck. Wow. Each card truly is a work of art. I can tell you that. Having it in my hands, but you can see it for yourself as well. But having it in my hands, each card has so much in it. And I haven't dived deep into them at all yet, but I can see how much work and how much thought was put in each card this is this is the opposite of a lazy deck <laughs> lazy art deck interesting hermit How interesting is the sun card? Wow. Hmm. Interesting. So you have these extra cards here. Well, I definitely have to read the book. Oh, so you can use this for Nine of Swords, I think. 
So you have two options for nine of oh you have three options for nine of swords. This is also nine of swords. Interesting. And this is another four of cups. How interesting. This is another five of cups. This is another the fool. <laughs> it's so cool. Wow. This is another magician. I love it. I'm going to keep these cards in the deck. Oh, this is the third magician. Love it. Another devil. Oh my god. <laughs> so much violence going on here. Wow. This is another the moon. What is this? This is like a rooster or something. And another the moon. So beautiful. And another judgment. Wow. A medieval interpretation of the traditional 78 card deck, the Serpent and the Peacock Tarot by Libra Moon, INC. Wow, I'm very happy. Very, very happy. And I'm going to keep it in order to study it first. After studying it, I'm going to do a few readings. I'm very excited. Thank you so much, guys, for staying with me to the end. And I hope to see you in my next video.